Hey guys, welcome to a brand new VHS thrifting video. Yes, um, recently I've gone on two thrifting hauls and found some pretty good treats. So I'm going to share them with you. And um, you can tell me if you've seen any of them. Some of them are real good. Some of them are, yeah, you know. I found a really cool place nearby that sells their VHS tapes for 25 cents. So... Uh, that's with no tax, I guess, or tax included. So, um, I got four, four movies for a dollar. Hey, you can't beat that. I mean, especially if you don't know if the tape's going to play or if it's warped or, um, just, you just never know, right? So the cheaper, the better is my, especially with VHS. I mean, DVDs, you can look at the disc and see if it's scratched and, and all that stuff. But with VHS, I mean, you can check for mold, but... Uh, otherwise, you just don't know what you're getting. So the cheaper, the better. So the first movie up that I got is called Black Moon Rising. This stars Tommy Lee Jones and Linda Hamilton. And I'll tell you why I bought this. Um, first off, it's on Anchor Bay, and it's from the... What? Wait. It's from the... No, it doesn't say. I was guessing this was from like the late 90s or something based on the artwork, but it says 1986, but I think that's the original film. Um, but anyway, oh, it's from 2001. Yeah. So I saw the Anchor Bay logo and I was like, oh, what's this? Then I looked a little closer and I see that uh, it also stars Robert Vaughn, Richard Jackal, Bubba Smith, and Keenan Wynn. Uh, but moreover, it's uh, written by John Carpenter. So I was like, <laughs> immediately kind of curious uh so this is something about a something about some kind of like super high-tech automobile which i th think is called the black moon maybe um i think it's an action movie i mean you can see on the back there's some there's some action going on there with some guns and then oh, we'll look up here look at that so yeah i don't know anything about this um i like both of these actors and I love John Carpenter, so for 25 cents, I'll give it a go. We'll see. I could do this on a cult movie Tuesday. Uh, Chicago Sun-Times says, a stylish and consistently engaging thriller. So, you gotta love that. And I just noticed, I guess, that the car is on the front. Down here, there's like some kind of vehicle or something with like red smoke. So, I, I don't know. I mean, this could be real terrible. I have no idea. Uh, nothing fancy about the tape. No stickers or anything, just very basic. So we'll, we'll see what that one's like. The next one up I got was, uh, actually I'm re-adding this to my um, collection. You're going to laugh. I actually bought this last year on VHS and I got rid of it. And then I saw it for 25 cents, so I decided to rebuy it. And that is Brian De Palma's Dress to Kill. Uh, this stars uh, Michael Caine, Angie Dickinson, Nancy Allen. Uh, it was written by Brian De Palma. Directed by Brian De Palma. It is from... Ooh, I don't know what year this is from. 1990, it looks like? No, that can't be right. I think this is earlier. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I saw this once. It's kind of like... I, I don't know really how to even talk about it. It says it's in the tradition of psycho... Uh, Dress to Kill is an edge-of-your-seat chiller with a shock shocking last-minute plot twist. Uh, which I won't tell you what it is, but... Um, uh, it was a good movie. I love Brian De Palma's films. Um, and I, again, I bought this and I got rid of it and I don't really know why I did. Because I probably will revisit this over the years, but... Anyway, Dress to Kill. Um, this one, I... Oh, so the next one, I so I got, th I was going to get three, and then he, the, the cashier said, oh, they're 25 cents a piece, tax included. So I thought, I was eyeing up another one, so I'll save that for a minute from now. This was going to be my third pick, which is definitely the the winner of today's video. That is Star Slammer, The Escape. Um, this is directed by Fred Olin Ray. It stars Ross Hagen, Sandy Brook. Susan Stokey, M Maria Grant, uh, Don Wildsmith, uh, special appearances by John Carradine and Aldo Ray. Um, 
untamed, uncaged, unleashed in space. Star Slammer. And I think this movie goes by a bunch of different names. Um, this is not in good shape. Um, I actually swapped this out in into one of the other stores cases because it um, it was literally just the tape. And then I'll show you. Somebody cut the uh, box and glued the two pieces together. So when I walked into the store, that I saw this basically just sitting on the shelf like this, and I was like, "What in the heck?" So anyway, I snagged this. Uh, this old clamshell from one of the other movies. Stuck this inside um, to kind of keep it together. So, yeah, you can kind of see some of the juicy, juicy enjoyment you're going to get out of this thing. Um, <laughs> this is put out by Vidmark Entertainment uh, from 1988. Um, I don't know anything about it, but it looks incredible. Star Slammer. The Escape. So that, those were going to be the three movies that I was going to pick up. And then the cashier said, oh, you can grab another one. It's a dollar. So I picked up this one, Pam Greer in Coffee. And I was kind of eyeing this one, but I was like, I don't know. Will I ever watch this? Um, but I might. I do love Pam Greer. Um, I think she plays a prostitute in this film. Um, it's still actually it's from Blockbuster and it's still sealed. They didn't even whoever bought it did not even break the seal. So I don't even know what the tape looks like on the inside. I do love the cover art though, the pop kind of pop art kind of thing. Um, I've seen Foxy Brown before, but I don't think I've seen Coffee. So willing to check it out. Still got that sweet previewed Blockbuster sticker on it. So that's that. And the last thing I picked up, which um, I paid a bit more than I wanted to, but it was in really nice condition, and it is four tapes in one, and that is the Omen Collection. Look at this puppy. Omen 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, yeah, I, I got this at a, a used like book sale uh, for Big Brothers Big Sisters, and uh, I was very excited to see it. Again, it's in just mint, mint condition. I can't hold them all up at the same time, but I'll show two, two at, at a time. So there's Omen 1 and 2. I do have this on Blu-ray and this on DVD. Um, and I do love both of these films, especially the first one. But um, yeah, they were just in really nice, really nice shape. Somebody didn't rewind their tapes. I'm going to I'm gonna have to charge you for that. Um, and then I don't know if I've, I think I saw three. I definitely don't think I saw four. Tell me if you can recognize that guy on the cover of part three in the comments below. Tell me who you think that is. I won't say. Um, but, and you don't cheat. Don't cheat. Don't go on the Googles. But anyway, this is, um, this was kind of a cool little set to find. Um, let's see, I'll give you a kind of a brief. So Omen 1 was directed by Richard Donner. Um, stars uh, Gregory Peck and Lee Remick. Part 2 was directed by um, Don Taylor. It stars William Holden Lee Grant. Part 3, The Final Conflict, uh, directed by Graham Baker. And stars, um, well, the person on the cover, who you have to guess who it is as well as uh, Rosano Brazzi and Don Gordon. Executive producer was, was Richard Donner. And then uh, Omen 4, The Awakening. This was directed by uh, Jorg Montesi and Dominic Othen Gerard. And this stars Faye Grant, Michael Woods, Michael Lerner, and Asia Vieira. So... So there's that. So yeah, I, I kind of couldn't pass up on this. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I will try to resell it um, down the road if I can find this on, like, this set on DVD or Blu-ray. Um, I don't see the, that box set out and about very often, so I decided to grab this. I paid six dollars for it. They wanted eight, and I beat them down to six dollars um, because I just, again, you don't know if tapes are gonna play. And um, I didn't have, I actually only had $6 on me, so but I really wanted to get it before someone else snagged it. So 
Um, don't judge. You know, I know it's for a good cause, but I gave them six. I bought other stuff from them in the previous days before, so it's all good. But anyway, the almond collection, uh, the packaging is nice. It looks really nice. It's in really beautiful condition. Um, I think there's a bit of, it's a bit dinged up on this side, but you can see the 666 mark there. If you've never seen these films, especially the first two, I would recommend them. I don't, I'll have to watch the other two and give you my thoughts on that at a later time. But anyway, that was my VHS haul for today. I hope you liked it. Comment below if you've seen any of these movies, what your thoughts are on them. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Follow me over on Instagram at Night Owl Video. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you to everybody who's watched my videos. Um, my One of my recent posts was Rennie Harlan's Deep Blue Sea. And that, the views on that went right through the roof. I think I got like... 41 views in like about two days which is unheard of on my channel so thank you for everybody who watched it and liked it and gave the thumbs up and all that i really appreciate it i'm uh, very happy to be doing this channel uh as you know i love films and i love talking about films and um so thank you again for your support on this channel night owl video um and uh yeah i'll be back with another uh, vhs haul uh, or movie haul uh, coming soon, so be sure to tune in for that. Um, Tuesday is um, Cult Movie Tuesday, and this Tuesday I'm featuring Lars von Trier's uh, Antichrist. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that on Tuesday. Uh, so take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones and your friends, and until next time, I will see you at the video store. Or the thrift store. Or, you know, just out the boat. Take care. Bye.